So we're driving on whatever the hell name of the main road is that goes through Paris and I have to piss. There are six of us in a car. Me, my girlfriend, her friend Caddy, Caddy's husband's mother who has a name that I forget as soon as she says it, and a dog named Ramses. I'm serious. And Caddy's husband's father who will not let me piss. I think it's a gas issue. He's worried that if we exit, we might end up driving around for a bit, looking for a place for me to relieve myself. So he's telling me to hold it in. Except he's doing it in French, and no one speaks English in this entire car other than me and my girlfriend. She's my translator. So I'm telling her that I have five minutes max, and I'm going to start peeing on the floor. So she tells this to the woman, and instantly everyone starts talking in French at the same time. I'm, basi I'm basically begging to pee. This happened to me in Paris as well. You're not allowed to pee in Paris. And you're not able to pee when you're driving through Paris. Ironically, the city starts with a P. It should be called urine Eris, piss Eris. Mm. The Eiffel Tower is the perfect landmark for the city. It's the biggest phallic symbol in France and not once does yellow water start shooting out of its top. The Eiffel Tower has been holding it for 300 years or however long that thing's been standing there erect with people killing themselves off of it on a yearly basis. Why all the Eiffel Tower suicides in its history? Sorry. Because they all had to piss. <laughs> they didn't have money for the French restaurants that insist you pay them before using the toilet. Yeah. I've seen those places. They have actual toilet bouncers. Guys who look like their mother was a frown and their father was a piece of metal. <laughs> I ran into a Paris bathroom one time so fast that the, the toilet bouncer couldn't stop me from going in. He yelled on the other side while I peed, you know, a liter or a mega liter or whatever you call a lot of piss in France. Then I ran out before he could catch me, my girlfriend yelling for me to explain what happened and I'm yelling back, I pissed for free, I pissed for free. <laughs> I mean, so, we've been driving in the car for an hour. I told them I had to piss an hour ago. It's Easter weekend and the traffic is moving slow, but not so slow that we haven't driven by eight exits with me pointing at each one yelling, la, la, we could go la. La is French for there. So I'm singing la, la, la. And then I, I switch to angrily saying France as I'm scolding the entire country. <laughs> he finally gives in and he exits on a ramp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try to get out of the car and they scream for me to close the door. I tell them that I'll just run to the side of the road. There are woods everywhere. I've seen people piss in the streets in Paris. And there's a reason for that. And there's a, because they won't let you piss indoors. Now he keeps driving, taking me into a Parisian suburb where there doesn't seem to be any force whatsoever. No, yeah, I watch a hundred perfect trees for urination fade behind me replaced by thick streets filled with wall. He pulls over and points to where he says is the perfect spot. It's a business. He tells me to piss on the business. I figure this is my introduction to becoming French, huh? <laughs> the business has graffiti all over it, as, as if there's no respect for historical buildings made in the 1800s. <laughs> there's a bathroom somewhere within the building. So I estimate where I think it might be and I piss in its general direction. Paris, wonderful graffiti of urine. 